I'm going to show you some recommended settings for use with the Blackmagic camera app. It's a free app available on iOS devices and Android devices. It gives you more control than you would get from the built-in video recording app for your smartphone. The interface is similar to Blackmagic cameras like the one that the Flex Studio has at the Making and Media Creation Lab. So once you've downloaded and installed the app, I recommend going to Settings. In the Record menu, set it to a codec, set it to H.264. It's a more common codec. Resolution, if possible, maybe record in 4K, at the very least HD. Let's see here, camera. I recommend setting shutter measurement to speed as opposed to angle. Audio, if you've got your smartphone or tablet connected to a wireless microphone system, make sure you select it from the audio source submenu within the audio menu. Audio monitor, I recommend enabling it. You can also enable audio monitor from the monitor menu. Display audio meters, that shows the volume level in the preview and recording screen. Enable display histogram. Focus assist, that's really up to you. Media, by default, the app saves any recorded clips within the app. I suggest selecting in-app and photo library or whichever options the app presents to you to let you access any clips from the default folders or video folder on your device. Okay, so we're good to go. Select camera to record. Here's the volume meter to in indicate loudness. There's two channels. Right now we're just recording in the one channel. Make sure the volume does not get to the extreme edge of the indicator. In the yellow range around minus 10 to minus 6 decibels. The scale is small, but if you ha have the app, you'll be able to see it. Here's the histogram. It gives you a sense of the appropriate, how bright or how dark the image is. Ideally, you want the graphs to stay away from the extreme left and extreme right edge of the graph. If it's uh, at the extreme left, that means that the image is too dark. The settings make the image too dark. Unless it's a completely dark image, you do to avoid that. Conversely, alternatively, you want to avoid the graphs getting to the extreme right. That indicates that the image is too bright. The settings make the image overexposed. So for frames per second, for live action, I recommend either 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. This tablet does not allow anything higher, but 24 is a good standard. That's common for film and TV, and there's a, I guess, a scientific explanation as to why we can't perceive anything more than that with the naked eye. For shutter, I recommend one over twice the frames per second, or close to it. So if you're shooting 24 frames per second, set the shutter to 1 over 48 seconds. If you're shooting in 30 frames per second, for example, set the shutter to 1 over 60. The rationale is that this proportion um, allows for realistic motion blur. If the shutter is too fast, the times is too great, then there won't be a lot of motion blur and it will look unnatural. If it's 
too slow or the, the shutter time, exposure time is too long in terms of time, then it'll look more blurry than usual. White balance, you could set it to auto or just see what the app sets to auto and then just manually lock it at that white balance value. So maybe 29K, so disable auto and just set it to 2950K in this particular setting. It will depend on the lighting of your environment. ISO, you can experiment. Just set it to the lowest possible value for that situation without over or under exposing. So I'm going to crank up the ISO. It's actually not too bad. But if I turn it all the way down, then it becomes darker. Well, this room is fairly well lit, so maybe it's impossible to over or underexpose things too much. But generally, set it to the lowest you can without making the image too under or overexposed. Remember, you want to make sure the histogram avoids the extreme edges. Um, what else? This uh, view mode, you can toggle, select between extreme, cinematic, standard. To be honest, the difference seems negligible. Plus, minus. You can toggle, set it to auto to see what it sets things to. You can use the auto mode to get a sense of what might be good manual values to set things to. So ISO goes to 48. So I'm going to disable do the shutter to 1 over 60. Autofocus. So this last option in the toolbar lets you select grids, oh, aspect ratio. If you want to shoot vertical or the more cinematic aspect ratios, disable it. You can have grids. to help you when you're composing shots. Then when you're finally ready, you can just hit the record button. And that's the Black Magic Camera app in brief.